New York City, we love it. It's massive. When you come from England and you like you, you walk around New York City, like it's crazy because there's so much tall buildings. But it's, it's an amazing city, man. You know, a lot of music's come from here that's inspired us. So it's great to be back. The crowd here, are wicked, man. The reception we've had after our shows has been like some of the best. Yo, I'm Piers. I'm Kezi, and we're half of Rudimental, and we're here at Warner Music Atlantic. It's really cool. It's like lots of colours and stuff. <laughs> Rudimental is made up of four people, and we're all musicians um, and producers and songwriters um, at heart. Yeah, we love we we love to make music, write music. We actually jam together, so we've all got our preferred instrument. Um, Sleepy Leon over there, he plays a bit of keys. Mir's the guitarist, he's over there. Kezi's a keyboard player, percussion player. I play a bit of keys, and um, I love playing like the Hammond organ and stuff. But w when we come together, it, 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 it's kind of like you know more of a jam. So we like to just get the instruments out in the studio and just basically jam a groove um, and then write to that. You know, as opposed to starting with something electronic, we always start with the with the live instruments, and um, I think I think that's what helps make our music so kind of like inherently live. We've learned a lot off each other at the same time when we first started out. Some of us had strengths in certain areas, for example, one of us might have been better at sort of finishing the track producing, pro production wise. And then, I mean, and one of us might have been better at starting ideas. And I think after the last four years of us sort of touring the world and being in the studio together, we've all learned off each other. And now we sort of share out all these different roles and we all get, ch we all chip in with everything now a lot more. Now Kezi's growing a beard because I've, I've got a beard, you know. Well, you, you do though, you share, you share skills and that's the greatest thing about being in a band. Not just beards, you share actual skills as well. So we, we wrote a song called We The Generation. The lyrics on that song were a lot about sort of believing in your own sound and your own uh, beliefs and music, you know, and, and just expressing uh, creativity um, without worrying about um, what you're meant to do or, or how you're meant to be or like what type of music you should make, you know. Um, and that's kind of what the vibe of the song was and it kind of, we, we kind of realised that, you know, it's kind of what we're about at the moment, it's, it's in general, you know, we're kind of family, the Runamental is a, a family and it's, and, and we kind of, We've, we've really had to, especially the last two years, um, you know, dig in deep and support each other. And it came out naturally and it's kind of where we are as a band at the moment, you know. Um, and we, we, we feel like it's a good title for the album. The new record, we've got some amazing features again. Um, so we've got some sort of legends that we've always wanted to work with. It's almost like we've ticked off our bucket list yeah. in terms of people we grew up listening to. Uh, so we've got features from people like Dizzy Rascal, who is big fans of as as youngsters, and then we've got George Clinton on the record. We've got some amazing sort of legends that our parents were fans of, but also sticking to the similar theme as the first album, launching new artists. I mean, the first album we kind of gave a great platform for John Newman and Ella Rare and Emanike and, and loads of vocalists from that one. And we're doing the same with this with the new records. We've got new artists such as Anne Marie. Will heard um, two that you need to look out for because they're going to be huge. Never Let You Go, um, it's a song we wrote with the singer Foy Vance. 
He's a singer songwriter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a fo I mean, his folk stuff is amazing as well. Yeah. It's so good. I, 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 we we did a show with him. We did George Holland with him recently, a couple of weeks ago, and I just walked in on the toilet, and he was just sitting there on the guitar in the toilet, just singing, and it was the most amazing thing I've ever heard. But that's something we like to do, sort of also take singers maybe outside of their comfort zone or just put them on something different to what they would normally do and, and just combining that and the fusion, the fusion seems to work really well. It was not those tracks when we made it, we were just like, yeah, this is, you know, this, is, this has got that kind of positive um, feel good vibe, yeah, for the festivals. This is gonna work. The organized chaos. Yeah, the live rudimental show is is madness. It's crazy. I mean, we're really calm now, just sitting here doing an interview. But when we play live, there's 11 of us on stage. We're all great friends. We kind of all grew up together from childhood. So when we come on stage, the energy is, is crazy. And it's, it's something special. We love performing live. I feel like it's great when you, when you, if you've got problems in your life or if you've got stress, um, you know, in, in, happening in your personal life, you go to a show and you can just forget about it for an hour and a half, and everyone in that crowd, you could be unified in the fact that you're having a good time, you know, and that, and you know, the person next to you can be your best friend for an hour, even though you don't know him. I think that I think that's what music does to me as a fan when I've gone to gigs. So I'd love to do that to people you know and like you just just enjoy yourself for that hour and a half and then address address your your life when you get you back just, to it just want the show to sort of trigger some form of emotion when you're on stage and you're seeing the crowd smiling or or going crazy dancing or crying with happiness <laughs> you know what i mean it's, it feels great from sort of our perspective watching the audience appreciate our music so yeah, we just like people to come see us and enjoy the show. You know I said it's true. I can feel the love. Can you feel it too? I can feel it. Oh. I can feel it. I can feel it all. Oh. On your own. You know I said it's true. I can feel it. I can feel it. Feel it all. One more time, please. You know I said it's true. Love, can you feel I can feel it. Yo, we're Rudimental. And you're watching Babel Music.